Happy Saturday, April 18th. How are you? How, ugh, how are you guys? <laughs> um, I am doing well. I hope this finds you in well health. I hope it finds you in good spirits. And even if it doesn't, for either, that's okay. There has to be down to be up and up to be down, so to say, duality. Um, yeah. So, try not to touch my face so much. Um, the last video, I definitely had a little bit of a surge of energy because I was afraid I was going to run out of time. But I'm going to try to be a little bit more intuitive, peaceful, slow right now. So, again, our friendly moon deck. And calling on divine source, divine empowerment, divine calling for the collective about an energy we can look towards, work towards for today, for tomorrow, for tonight, for really however long you want to play with this energy. <laughs> Uh, also, I just got to put my props out and say thank you so much to anyone who is working at this time. You are considered essential. And to, to all the, the parents who are at home with their kids. And to, of course, all the medical workers working out there. It's got to be hard. It's got to be tiring. And we are forever grateful and cannot even repay what you're doing. So thank you if you're one of those people or if you know one of those people. Okay. Let's see. I have unlimited potential and claim my purpose. All I need is within me. So. Ba -ta -ta -ta. What a beautiful image. And look, her eyes aren't even closed. She's looking right at you. Very awake, aware, alive. Card number 31. By the way, I'm so happy I'm back in my corner. It was a very small created comfort zone but it's nice to be by the window again. Nice to know that the ceiling is done. So purpose. We're each a vessel with an unlimited capacity to express our potential. Our highest purpose is always evolving, shaped by our desire to move beyond illusions of fear and into our true nature of love. Now is the time to fully realize your potential. It simply awaits your acceptance of it. This awareness growing inside of you is a result of the love you consistently give in yourself. As you dissolve feelings of doubt or defeat, step into this truth and sincerely believe in who you are. Know that the world needs your special gifts. Continue to strengthen your confidence, claim your ever evolving purpose, and give yourself permission to feel your full range of feelings. All you need is within you. So. There's that for a screenshot if you care for it. And again, our image. I think sometimes we expect a lot from ourselves immediately. I touched on this within trusting the process. And in reality, it always is baby steps and it's always an acclimation something that's building up so there's no need to really pressure yourself if you're not exactly where you envisioned yourself to be or if you're not where you want to be right now i had a a thing that came to me while i was meditating this morning and it was an idea of a piece of art to make that 
kind of like formed itself without me giving much effort to it. And I thought, wow, this is actually something that would be really cool to make. It'd be really beautiful to make. And I could actually see people wanting to buy it. So I did all these numbers after I meditated, of course. I did a little journaling and I wrote down what each thing would cost and what I could get away with maybe charging for it. And it's it's not this, it's, it's art. But it was cool because I did my own tarot reading this morning with the Soul Tarot deck. And all four cards really pointed towards Spear ahead, make these efforts, and it will be worth your while. So maybe my purpose is making art here. Maybe my purpose is, you know, getting a sweat out and doing some exercise or, or finding more limberness if I do some yoga. So your purpose doesn't have to be this, like, ultimatum. I'm going to be on the top. I'm going to have 10,000 followers. I'm going to be super famous on Etsy. I'm going to make sure I make lots of money. Like, your purpose could be very simple day to day. But it is a good idea to try to, like, zone in on what your heart is looking for and what would fulfill it. And maybe defining some of the things that would actually do so. I mean, when you set an intention, a goal, if you keep your mind open and your hopes up and you make it, that is just a from beginning to end fulfilled purpose. It could be washing the dishes. It could be making banana bread, which I'm going to do today. So I'm excited for that. So the ritual, power pose and bee breath, like a buzzing bee. Body language shapes how we feel and how the world receives us. When we anchor and expand into our body, our presence brightens. This ritual is a three-part sequence to help improve mood, increase confidence, and calm anxiety. Once you learn it, you can practice each exercise individually as needed. So, the first one is power pose. Step feet slightly wider than hips, heels rooting down firmly and evenly. Extend arms upward. Turn palms forward and spread your fingers wide. Stand tall with spine upright. As your legs ground into the earth, close your eyes and imagine the sun rising from within. Bam! Okay. The second one is bee breath. Also called, I believe in uh, Hindi, Brahma, Brahmari. With lips sealed and chin slightly tucked, Inhale, gentle and deep. Exhale a uh, hmm, like buzzing bees for as long as possible. Repeat five to 10 times. With each hum, increase volume and play with various pitches. Feel the vibrations move throughout your body and skull. To end, keep arms up for a few natural breaths. Then cup your hands in front of your heart, fingers forward. Repeat the mantra three times. I have unlimited potential and claim my purses, purpose. All I need is within me. I have unlimited potential and claim my purpose. All I need is within me. Isn't it a freeing feeling just to say those things? Doesn't it give you an acceptance that anything you need, you have within you. You don't have to search outside of yourself. So this is a really interesting Ritual, I'm gonna try it myself. And yeah, I like it. Purpose, I have unlimited potential and claim my purpose. All I need is within me. If you're gonna be looking at this idea of purpose as something you can't define, then you're never really gonna quite be able to sit in it and feel it. So it's really important to pick something and I know we might get nervous that, oh, I picked this when I, I, I just picked it on a whim because I was too in doubt to be certain about something. So I picked something, but it's probably the wrong thing and I'm going to go through with it anyway. And the whole time you have this sense of doubt about it. The other day when I was meditating, uh, it was a guided meditation. And it was one of the first times where it was really like, pick something. And the word ease came to my head. And it said that it was going to follow, that intention would follow you throughout the day. And so it was really nice to decide on it, go with it, and really trust it. So, what is your purpose? What is your purpose for today? What is your purpose for the week? 
I don't know about you guys, but I'm a pretty goal oriented, uh, I have so much creative energy in me that I need to put somewhere type of person. It's like this fiery Leo, like kind of gotta get it out, gotta do something with it, gotta feel a reward for it. That That's kind of my behavioral training as far as where I'm at right now. And that's how I can deem feeling satiated or satisfied towards the end of the day. So if you don't care, whatever. I mean, you're watching this awfully far if you don't care. But if you do care, decide. Because what you decide today doesn't have to be the same tomorrow. What you decide today doesn't have to be deemed right or wrong. And have faith in yourself. Okay, much love. This is a test because I thought these videos could only be 10 minutes. I'm already on 11. Let's see if it uploads. Be well, and I will talk to you guys soon. Please be healthy, safe, and find some purpose.